the ingredients will be spaghetti this is roughly a pound of skip spaghettis spaghetti and jack graced in mackerel some salt some black pepper some ketchup and jamaican scotch bonnet pepper full of flavor give it just the right amount of heat and flavorful two pegs of garlic a tomato a small onion sweet pepper and jamaican scallion so guys here i've prepared the tomatoes um, cut up the tomato cut up the sweet pepper and i cut the scallion really fine garlic the onion and the flavorful jamaican scotch body pepper and i took the mackerel out of the can and when i'm eating the mackerel by myself i keep the bone in there because i love my bone but if i'm not having it by myself i remove the bones so this one i remove the bones and the, the belly and I'll be using extra virgin olive oil. I use olive oil. I prefer olive oil to do my cooking. The pot a bubble. I'll put salt in there. So you put as much salt as you need in your pot. It's a bubble for the spaghetti. Spaghetti going into the pot boiling pot and i put it long i don't want my spaghetti for um the brick so i put it long when the eat catch it then it will find its rightful pot now it's ready to take the seasoning so i usually start with my tomatoes because we're not going to make tomatoes they are well fried and be careful guys don't burn yourself Fry. 
and we make this fry up for about three minutes. I love when it fry. You don't have to do it so long. You know, you can adjust it to your likeness so you will like. Some people love when them um thing crunchy. Crum, crum, crum. What? Me love when my, my seasoning well fry. So I'm gonna fry it. Make it stay like this with it. With the same heat and make it um fry it off for about two three minutes. Oh, sorry, the garlic. Yes, guys. Me now I'm gonna put the garlic last because me love when the garlic fry till it burn, you know. So I'm gonna put the garlic last. So I'm just gonna drop in my two for the garlic on the cut up. Well fried on now. See there? Well fried on. So now I'm gonna put in the thinner mackerel, jack mackerel. Pour in the jack mackerel. I'm gonna throw away sauce for coming the jack mackerel. I'm gonna put everything into the pot. Oi! You heat fry over the sauce, come up on in. Put the sauce in there with it. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it at the same heat. I'm gonna throw in the ketchup here, so. You know, I feel use ketchup, you know. It's like a bit. Oh, like a bit. Or you can use more if you want. Or you can use not at all, because the ketchup, the tin mackerel will come with arm. Um, with it tomato sauce. See how that pretty? Colorful. So we have red, we have yellow, we have white. So now, when we reach to this spot now, we just leave it, make it go on simmer. So we turn on the stove, because the season well fry already. And then I'm going to put on the pot cover and make it simmer. Over here, so the spaghetti are bubble. Bubble, bubble, bubble. So, one other thing I'm going to do is um, try to sort of cut up the, 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 the tin mackerel. If, if I did dumpling or yam and banana, I'm going to eat the tin mackerel or rice. I wouldn't cut up it, but because you're going to put it together with the spaghetti, you want it to spread out more. Better this spaghetti and better distribution. So, the sata just uh, use the fork I cut up the tin mackerel, the jack mackerel. Yeah, cut up it. So it can distribute better when it's um, spaghetti going here. Whoa! Tan good day. Tan good, yeah. And it smell good too. Tan look good, smell good, and taste good. Darn. Goody, goody, good up, good up. All right, so now I'll put on a pot cover and put down pan low, make it go and simmer down so every other the flavor them can combine and make it turn into a blast. So now. In my prayer ready and I'm gonna put the spaghetti in there's a spaghetti boiled and ready to meet with mackerel so dump it in and hold it so you can see what I'm doing dump it in dump it in Chatbot. Spaghetti in. So now I am going to combine this. Colorful, tasty, protein, and starch. 
And I love my spaghetti long. I don't, I, I, I could have broken it up, but I just love when it's long. And there's the gravy that's in there is just the right amount to combine. Stir it around, stir it around, combine it together. Because it long, it take a little more effort to combine it. So at this point, you can turn off the stove and you combine it. Sweet pepper popping up. And you see why I crushed or I cut up the, 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 the tin mackerel? Because you want to be able to have it distributed in all the, as much as possible in the spaghetti. Smells good, is man? Have a really nice flavor. Smells really good. See, take a look at time. And while I'm combining it with the, um, the tin mackerel, I crush up too. So you want to get the gravy and the tin mackerel. Combine and distribute it nicely with the spaghetti. So it's colorful. There it is guys, the finished product. And I've put some um, of my carrot treat on the side. And I'm gonna taste it. It looks good. And now I'm gonna confirm the taste. So you know when you're eating the long spaghetti, you roll it up. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. You're gonna lead. You're gonna lead, guys. Delicious. Full meal.